Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Jacob here back bringing you some 2k21 content now I understand the game isn't out yet. So y'all might think this is a, a Scam, but I swear to y'all it's not bro. Just change your info to New Zealand change your location to New Zealand And boom you got the game because New Zealand's already September the 4th. I'm currently recording this on September the 3rd I will try to have this out the day before 2k comes so you guys have an idea of what build to make So I just get right into it, bro. Put my name shooting guard I think this is the best shooting guard build in 2K21, hands down. I've, I have played with it before, but I'm just in the My Player Builder to show you guys how to make this build. I made my guy left-handed. That's a matter of preference, to be honest. I always make my guys left-handed because I'm a lefty myself. For this pie charge skill breakdown, let's head right over. Shooting and playmaking. That's all you need, man. But it's, it's not the more shooting. You need exactly the same as shooting and playmaking. And then a bit of defense and finishing. For the physical pie chart, you want to have the the, um, the stats that is most... Um, you want to focus on speed, because everybody wants to speed boost in this game. And the only way to do that, you have to pick the agility pie chart, which is what I'm doing. You're going to have 64 vertical and 48 strength. It's not the the best numbers, but trust me, guys, that's, that's what you want. Then now for the potential... We'll be back once I set this all up. Well, shooting shooting's a no-brainer. You want to pretty much max out almost everything in shooting. And you just want to have 22 badges. Actually, I lied. 23 badges. 23 badges is all you need. So just maximize everything apart from post fade. Get post fade to a 60. Leave it at that. Then for playmaking, you want to max pass accuracy. And you definitely want to max ball handling. Then after that, just work up a little bit. See what you can play around with. But I put it up to 52 post moves. For 22 playmaking badges you you will be all right with 21 playmaking badges so if you want to bring it down to to 42 post moves and save yourself the extra like 10 or so attribute points you you're more than welcome to but the way i did it i want those 22 playmaking badges for defense maximize perimeter maximize lateral maximize steals maximize defensive rebounds and now you have six badges so i played around with it a little bit i put interior defense to a 50 but i'll bring that down to a 40 and just put everything else into blocking which i do and that leaves me the 80 attribute points so now we move around our close shot goes up to about a 75 i'll bring it driving layup goes to an 80 driving dunk goes to a 64 and i'm pretty much done i don't need post duck and i don't need standing duck and I, if i wanted to take out some badges and play around with finishing it'll be extremely hard for me to get any finishing badges if you want to if you want more finishing badges, you're going to have to remove your defense. And at that point, your build becomes an offensive threat. And as most of you guys know, offensive threat really what did dominate 2K20. But it really lagged defense. And I love I love playing defense, honestly. So this is literally the build for me. The one that puts more into defense than it does finishing. Because honestly, with one finishing badge, you won't really be driving to the rim like that. But you'll be alright once you do actually drive to the rim, in my opinion. I think you're more than fine with this. So this is the build. Take a second to look at it. See if you want to move anything around. That's up, completely up to you guys. I lied. My build actually has 21 playmaking badges. But going back, I would have made it with 22 playmaking badges. So I'll just do it the way I would have done it. Or the way I actually ended up doing it. And then just... I maxed out the first three. And then standing dunk and post hook didn't really matter. Because you're not going to stand dunk or hook as a shooting guard. So that doesn't matter, to be honest. You can bring it up to uh, an interior defense. Or you can bring it up on your blocks, which is what I did. And for the build type, I obviously put the fine. Gotta have my boy nice and fit, you know, nice and bulky. Or not bulky, per se, but nice and big. For height, this is super important. If you want to speed boost and you want to do all those nice dribble moves, you need to have 85 ball handling, which is why I make my player 6'4". And 2K20, my build was actually 6'5", and he had the perfect ball handling. But in 2K21, they really emphasize, like, you need to have good stats in order to do things. Like, you can't have 63 point shooters or three point like a three point rating and then expect to green threes same thing with ball handling you can't have less than 85 and try to speed dribble it's impossible so make your player 6-4 at weight obviously you want to go minimum weight to make your player faster you will lose that on the tier defense and post moves but then again that does not matter at all your strength goes down but you're a guard you're it's not like a guard's gonna post up on you unless you play against a 6-8 point guard i have not personally played against a 6-8 point guard yet so i haven't experienced that but you know you might be screwed if you play against a 6-8 point guard he might drive, take you to the post for a wingspan you want to go up to an 80 an 83.2 because you get a lot of defensive stats and you get two finishing stats while only losing four shooting stats overall your mid-range goes down to an 88 and your d-point goes down to an 85 which is honestly more than enough 
with an 80 and an 85 you'll be able to consistently make shots which is what i do for takeover takeover in my opinion is, has always been a matter of preference if you're a dribble guard pick playmaking you're gonna break ankles regardless if you're a spot up shooter obviously you want to have the spot up shooter take over but me personally i won't lie i build myself around Tysino. i see him a lot and he just makes some crazy ass shots and in 2k20 i, I know i've been practicing so obviously i'm going with shot creator then moving faders you're gonna green those every time everything bro shot creators if you're moving bro exactly the name so this is my player done a playmaking shot creator i was a playmaking shot creator in 2k20 your shades of CJ McCullum, Buddy Healed, and Pistol Pete himself. If you guys did like this video, drop a like button. If you're new around here, maybe consider subscribing. It means a lot to me. And if you guys, I know you guys might not believe this might be the best build because you guys want proof. But if you guys smash 10 likes on this video, I will have proof to you the next day that this build is God. Or not God, but this video is GOAT. Or that this build is very goat like because i'm telling you bro this is the build you want to have in 2k21 but on that note hope you guys did enjoy it. i'll see you on the next video take care